be slow cooking a pork butt on the Weber using the snake method with our charcoal. This involves lining up the charcoal and burning from one end to give you a low and steady heat. I've placed wood chunks at intervals to keep the smoke consistent. Just use a wax cube at the end you want it to start at. I've used an inverted vortex as a guide for my charcoal. We prepare the meat by applying a generous amount of rub and letting the pork sit in the open air while our briquettes get started. This will allow the center to come up a little in temperature while the rub imparts flavor around the meat's perimeter. Next, place the roast on the center of the grill. We're going for an indirect cook and the rotation of the briquette should provide for even cooking. I'm expecting the butt to reach tenderness in about six to eight hours at a temperature of approximately 200 degrees. More on that later. During the first part of the cook, I spray a 50-50 apple juice and vinegar mixture hourly to keep the outside of the meat moist. You may have noticed I'm using a temperature probe at grill level, and I have a temperature gauge at the top of the cover to monitor temperature throughout the grill. I will adjust the upper and lower vents to throttle back the briquettes in order to maintain approximately 250 degrees Fahrenheit throughout cooking. At the midway point, I wrap the bud in tin foil and add butter and honey. This, combined with the natural juices of the meat, will braise the roast for the last few hours. I then place the roast back in the center of the grill and insert the temperature probe. At 200 degrees, I'll start poking the roast until I feel no resistance when I insert the probe. No resistance means the collagen has dissolved and the meat is tender. Today, this 12-pound roast took almost seven hours of total cooking time to reach tenderness. The next step is to wrap the meat in a towel and place in a cooler. Here we'll rest it for at least 30 minutes and allow the temperatures in the meat to equalize throughout. A good cooler will hold the meat at temperature for hours. I have friends coming over for dinner and drinks, so I planned a nine hour total cooking time, eight for the cooking and an hour for the rest. With it being done early, or seven hours, my cooler will hold the temperature for the two hours I need with ease. When I took it out to pull, it was still very hot to the touch. To pull, just remove and discard large pieces of fat and pull the meat fibers apart. We're serving both pulled pork sandwiches and pork tacos later, so I'm throwing two thirds of it in a crock pot and simmering with some barbecue sauce for the sandwiches, while my wife sautés the other third in enchilada sauce and will add taco seasoning at the end. For the sandwiches, we had hamburger buns, cheese, and homemade coleslaw. For the tacos, chopped onions and tomatoes with grated cheese on corn tortillas. Enjoy, and don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel. As always, we'll see you on our next adventure.